guys, my name's Mitz and I'm going to show you how to back up your files and stuff um, so you can clean up your computer. So um, this is what I do to keep my computer running nicely and all that and I've been really bad and haven't done it lately. So what I did is I actually connected a an external hard drive to my computer. So if we go into my computer we can have a look at them. So we go down to the start menu, it doesn't matter whether you're in Windows 7 or Windows um, XP or whatever, you go to the start menu and you press on computer and it'll come up with my computer. So look at this, I mean that's just terrible having that much stuff on C drive because that's the one that's running Windows. So I need to get rid of this stuff, okay? Um, also this is my backup drive and here's another one this is a shared these are shared network drives so I can access them but they've got a lot of my files on there and sometimes it's doubled up and everything um, yeah let's just say that I've got a lot of stuff here um, so I mean I suppose it's not really a lot because I've already backed up before <laughs> a lot and um, yeah this is just in about four months this is my stuff um, okay so what I did is I connected a one terabyte um, external hard drive and here it is here and I've started putting stuff on it and I'll show you how I'm doing it I'll just close that so what I did well when I was in my computer I double clicked on the terabyte and opened it and it had nothing in it at that stage now I have copied some stuff in here so I've got that open there and if I move over here I've got um, one of my drives open and this is a lot of the stuff that I have to back up so basically I just at the moment I just selected the whole lot and um, dragged it over there and now it's doing it and it's going to take ages 10,000 items to copy 76 gig that's how much I'm putting over there okay um, <coughs> yes it's going to take a long time but what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this video and then I'm going to come back and show you what I do after that so basically um, well I can leave that for a minute but what I'm going to do I'll show you like I'll show you my computer again now I'm actually going to take stuff out of here take stuff out of there and take stuff out of there and dump it into this one here okay and then later on I'm going to sort this out and delete what I don't want um, so these ones here one two three we should see them reduce a lot okay so that's what I'm going to come back and show you so at the moment I'm just going to back stuff up alright so I'm just going to pause the video for a minute okay guys I'm back and I'm pretty sure that I've backed up everything that I wanted over to my um, one terabyte external hard drive so I'm pretty sure that I can go and delete all these now so I'm just gonna select the first folder now this is my my documents folder here see I'm gonna go down right down to the bottom and I'm going to press the shift key on my keyboard and so it selects all of them okay so I selected the first one and the last one but I pressed shift now I'm going to delete it right and press yes now I've already deleted some stuff from uh, my other hard drive so what I'm going to do now is um, when this is done deleting because it's 20 gig or whatever or more maybe I don't know it just keeps going up um, what I'm gonna do is go to the recycle bin and also delete um, stuff there as well okay so we're going that's it it's deleting here's another hard drive here that I've got um, 
I'm going to delete some stuff off that as well because it's all backed up again. So I'm going to select the first one and I'm going to go to the last item in here and I'm going to press shift and it's going to select the whole lot. I'll show you. There we go. It selected the whole lot. So I'm going to delete it and press yes. Now this is a huge clean out of my computer. Now if I was, um, I'm not doing this to format, I'm just doing this to clean up my computer. If I was doing it to format, I would be backing up my email addresses and everything. Um, but this is just a regular clean and my, as you can see my computer is out of hand. Okay now we are going to go to the recycle bin so I'm going to close these oh. this one says that the file names are too long for the recycle bin so I'm just going to say yes you can delete it without taking it to the recycle bin okay same with that there we go still deleting stuff this is a lot of stuff. So I so you've watched me delete oh, probably about a hundred gig of stuff. Now that is just unbelievable. Okay, so now I'm gonna go to my recycle bin on the desktop and I'm just gonna delete all the stuff that's in here, okay? So let's just press on this button, empty recycle bin. Now um, it says are you sure? I want to say yes. Okay, I want to get rid of everything. Alright, so there's another 20 gig disappearing. Okay. Radio, good. All gone. Okay, so now I'm going to close that. Okay, so now I'm going to clean out my temporary files and folders right and um, we actually we don't need to go to the start menu we just press the windows key and the letter R and the run box will come up now we have to do two separate folders here so we do the percentage sign TEMP and then a percentage sign and press OK so look at all this this is just junk in here so let's get rid of it now some of it's gonna say that it can't go so just leave it don't worry about it Okay, so we're going to just, um, we're going to select them all by pressing that shift um, and hitting on the first one and then keeping your finger on shift and hitting on the last one. So now I'm going to press delete, I'm going to right click and this menu comes up and then press delete. And it's going to say, are you sure? I'm going to say yes. Okay. Now these are temporary files, okay? Um, they're not being used, so it's just temporary stuff here. It's taken ages, I'm just going to pause it. Okay guys, after deleting stuff, here's what it looks like. There's only a couple of files left, so that's great. So now I'm going to go to the other temp folder. I'm going to close this one, and I'm going to press on the Windows key and R again. And this time I'm just going to type in temp, T-E-M-P, and press OK. Now here's another one here, okay? Now let's go. Let's see what we've got. It's not that bad, actually. Um, there's usually heaps in here, so I'm just going to delete them. Now, I can delete anything I like. It doesn't matter, because if it's needed, it'll come back. Okay, so I'm just going to delete. This is just temporary files here. Okay, um, this one cannot be done because it's been used. Okay, neither can that one. Alright, that's fine. We can even delete this one. This is the Avast. Let's delete it. Okay. Right, so that's all we've got left in there. Now I'm going to... Now I'm quickly going to go to the Recycle Bin again. Sorry, I'm just going to get rid of this. 
what we want to do is go down to the recycle bin. So we'll go to the desktop and go up the top and open the recycle bin again. So now we've got all these temporary files that are gone in here. So you want to empty it again and press OK. OK, so every time that we empty something out, it goes to the recycle bin. Most of it does, not all. And um, yeah, so now we need to delete it. So we've done that. Now, I'll just get rid of that. Now the next thing that I would do is go and remove programs that I don't want. OK, now I'm not going to do that with you because uh, it'll take too long. But that's what I do to really clean the computer out. Now if I go, I'll show you, um, I actually use Revo Uninstaller, okay, it's just a small little free program, I'll just close that, it's just an update thing, and um, all I have to do is press on a program that I don't want, so just say I didn't want that one there, wait a minute, it's all moved. Right, so just say I didn't want that one there and I just choose it and then press on uninstall and it'll go and do it. Now the reason I'm using this program is because it removes everything even from the registry. Alright, so I'm going to close that. Okay, so what I've done is I've backed up my files and moved them to another hard drive or a, an external drive and then I've um, deleted things that I didn't want and temporary internet files and stuff I deleted I'm all of that. I'm going to show you what I've done here. So I'm going to go to the computer and this is what I did here. I emptied out those two drives there and I also cleaned out some stuff here. Now that was probably up to about there or something like that so that's not too bad. Now these are all the programs I've got installed on my computer so unless I go and um, delete some of those there's not much I can do about that okay um, now this is going to make my computer run better already now what I want to do is some maintenance so I'm going to right click on this um, local disk I'm going to right click on it and then go to properties right and go to the tools menu now you can check the disk for errors, I don't really want to do that. Um, disk defragmentation, okay, um, I don't even use that one, I use a different one, I mean but if you haven't got a program, what I've got, I want you to press this button here and defrag your computer. Now make sure that you've done what I did, I cleaned out the files I didn't want, I cleaned out the temp files, I emptied the recycle bin um, and all that stuff. Okay. Um, another thing you can do before you do that, okay, I'm going to close this, is go down to the start menu and see what you've got in there for tools. So we go to accessories, right, and then we go to system tools and we see what we've got here. Now we've got disk cleanup here so we can click on that and we can do just press OK because we want to do C drive and it's checking out what it has to do because it'll get rid of some more stuff for you. OK. Anyway, while that's doing that. I want to show you the program that I use to defrag. It's called JK Defrag and it's free. And um it's great. Okay? Um it it just does a better job than the inbuilt Windows one. So give it a go anyway. Um I'm going to turn it on and get it going after this. So um but I'm not going to show you, but that is the last thing that I do. Alright, the disk cleanup is come up with this and um, I mean there's really not that much really. See, we can get anything that's ticked, ticked here is going to get rid of. Now look at the recycle bin, it's got zero in it because I've already emptied it. 
Okay, so we're just going to press OK because it's going to, they're ticked and it's going to empty them. And it says, do you really want to do this? And you go, yep. Okay, so now it's going to delete them for me, see? So that's more files that I've got rid of, which is great. And the last thing is that I'm going to defrag. Now, this I'm telling you this is amazing, this little program here. Um, I'm going to start it now. It, oh look, it says publish, it can't be verified, but don't worry about that. I've run it heaps of times. Now it just comes up with this, it's a really simple little program and it goes through a different phase and all that stuff and in the end it will all be packed up nicely. Now I guarantee that this will make your computer faster. If you just did all that stuff that I did, your computer will be faster. Alright, now the aim of the game is to keep it clean too, so don't go storing junk on your C drive. Alright, thanks for watching, I hope that helps.